good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies. And why is the camera like off center? Hold up just a second there. Okay. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing another ranking style video, but instead of my fix ups, if you guys missed my fix ups ranking of 2020, that was yesterday's video. Definitely go check that out. I would really, really appreciate it. I would love your thoughts on all the fix ups, where they ranked, and all that good stuff. Please go watch that video if you have not already. But also, today we're coming back to the custom side. So, yesterday we covered the fix ups, the part switches, the stuff like that. Today we're getting into the, the sculpting and the painting and the part switching all in one. And this is not just the customs that I have made. This is customs that I have received from people. This is customs that I have commissioned. This is a, a big old wide range of it. Big old net. I think there's a lot less, you know, customs and fix-ups. Obviously that just makes sense with, you know, demanding and time and energy and money put into customs and stuff like that. Fix-ups are much easier to do than customs given the paint and the sculpt. So that being said, guys, let's shut the hell up, see where everything ranks, and see what you guys think of my rankings. So this is every single WWE action figure custom that MDT has either made or received in 2020. All right, guys, so let's start things off with the bottom of the list, all right? And let's start off with good old Trash Corbin, Brad. We had to go here, you know, you know, to be honest with you, this is not a new custom, but the head sculpt is new and updated. So I think it is an updated custom. We did take the basic little, you know, Fred, TJI Friday Baron Corbin basic. We took that, we took the head sculpt off, we acetoned all the, the hair off to make him bald. We put the crown on him so he is updated so it is technically a custom. I got this way back in the day on the channel from Fig Skip Customs and I still love this to this day. Definitely one of my favorite pieces in my collection and it had to go at the very bottom. Not even a bad custom. I just think he had to go at the very bottom, right? I mean, it's just it's just right. He, he can go back there with the garbage. Next up, guys, is a custom that we didn't even finish. It is the Batista that we made on Action Figure Surgery Episode 50. I still have not gotten around to finishing this guy. I have a few more customs I'm still working on. So I figured I could finish this when I finish those. So this is still a work in progress. I couldn't put it too, you know, too high on the list, but it is a really good custom that will be finished soon, and hopefully that will be the case. And I think that thing will be way higher than this once that is finished. Maybe when we do the second ranking, he will climb in the rankings. But next up, guys, we have Orange Cassidy. Now this is this saddens me because I feel like the height, you know, he was he was way too tall when we first made him. Now he's way too short. Like look how tiny he is. And people tell me that it's okay that he's this short, but it's just not. Like he is pretty daggum tiny, man. I just don't like it. Very hard to stand up. I'm still working on the formula to get him right, and since he's not right, I can't rank him that high. He would definitely be super high if he was perfect, and you know, he could pose around and stuff, but since that's not the case, I gotta put him at this ranking right now, so hopefully he'll improve, but for now, Freshly Squeeze is back there. I cannot wait for our AEW Series 3 Unrivaled Collection figure of Orange Cassidy, but let's move on to the next one, guys. We have a New Japan Shinsuke Nakamura. This is a very underrated one, but it's not very, you know, crazy. It only has paint on the crotch, and it's a very clean paint job. It's a very nice custom. Like, I actually like this custom a lot, but, you know, it's not it's not the most exciting, and uh, it just chills over there on the shelf for a good New Japan, you know, Shinsuke Nakamura, but I like it a lot. You don't have a lot of paint on here just on the crotch, but it is super clean, and it looks great, and I think Battle Figs UK uh, inspired me to make that, but there is Shinsuke Nakamura. Our next up custom is going to be Matt Riddle. Now, this one's very nice. I like this one. I kind of like my formula better than the Mattel version. You guys can tell me what you think of that, but the only paint on this guy is his tattoo right there with the mushroom. It looks pretty accurate. We got the UFC legs, Elite 45 Rollins torso, shoulders, and crotch and upper thighs. You got Ric Flair upper legs here. You got the Ric Flair arms. Matt Riddle basic head sculpt. Very simple formula. I think this is my favorite formula for Matt Riddle, and I like it a lot better than these other customs, so that's where I put Matt Riddle. We have Bobby Trashley in the house. Bobby Trashley is in the house. Now, there's not a lot of paint on this guy. We did fix him up. We put some Shelton Benjamin arms. We acetoned into the shape of Bobby Lashley's tattoo. We put the Elite 23 Triple H upper thighs. Then we got the Bobby Lashley rest of it, and then we put some Dolph Ziggler boots on here, and then we did paint in the black to make it more accurate and to make it look better, and we sealed it up. Very, very nice custom. Very clean custom. I had an extra Bobby Lashley, so I figured why not change up the look a little bit? So that added to the Bobby Lashley collection. I actually like that figure a lot. It just looks so damn clean. Next up, guys, it's going to be a shocker, but we have Jungle Boy. We have Jungle Boy in this hoe, and Jungle Boy is great. This was made by BEW. At least the head sculpt was. The rest of from the neck down is made by me, and I, I still like it. I think it works great for a Jungle Boy until we get one from AEW and the Unrivaled Collection. This is going to be a great placeholder for a Jungle Boy figure, and I like it a lot. I really, really do, and BEW did a fantastic job on the head sculpt, and I cannot wait for more work from BEW, but Jungle Boy comes in at this spot. I don't even know what number this is. I think there's 22 total or something like that, but Jungle Boy is a great custom. Next up, I feel like this figure could have been higher, but we have the K 
Kevin Owens, the updated Kevin Owens with all of his tattoos. You have the full sleeve here done by me, and then we have the dinosaur tattoo done by me. And then I did put the, uh, I think this is not Bob Backlund, but the Pat Patterson boots from his Walmart Elite. Put that on here, and it is just the Elite 66 Kevin Owens. I cannot wait for the Elite 69. I also ordered a couple of those basics with a nice head sculpt to, to fix that figure up, trying to tweak it and make it better. I cannot wait to do surgery on that guy. And Elite 79 should be coming in. Hopefully mine will arrive by like Monday or so. So hopefully that will be the case and we can get the reviews up and we can do some surgery during that week because uh, that's going to be great. I can't wait to do that. But there's Kevin Owens until the, to, until the time comes. Next up is a KO that doesn't have any tattoos. It's the Hell's Gate KO with the Kevin F and Owens with the fiery stuff going on. You get the orange and white, the orange kick pads. A lot of people love this thing and it's kind of a defining moment. You know, he, he beat Buddy Murphy. He's got his uh, bloody face right there. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to fix it because I think that it holds true. It's it's sentimental to the channel and it's sentimental to the pick fed. So I want to leave him like that. And I'm going to leave that KO just like it is, just like Kenny Omega. I'm going to leave it just like that, just because I, I like it a lot. So I'm not, I'm not going to touch that thing. We have a custom demon Finn Balor, the white demon figure. I don't really know what, uh, you know, what freaking attire you could call this. You know, you can let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think, but I love the white, black, and red. I like the chest piece. We pretty much just, we painted over all the black and white, and then we painted over all the white and black. So the teeth are black, and the teeth are black on the face, but you have the white on all the other stuff. You have the sleeves. Elite 70 Finn Balor, and then we did put the Elite 74 kick pads on there for a nice fix-up. It's still the same Jack the Ripper stuff going on, but I like it. It's a change of pace, and uh, I like the way that one turned out. Next up, we have an Elite 45 Seth Rollins fix-ups and custom. This is an Elite 45 Rollins with the Elite 75 head sculpt. We did add the blonde streak into the hair so that it's more accurate, and then we did put the TNF vest and the open knee pads. This is a perfect Seth Rollins for SummerSlam 2015 where he took on John Cena. I do have him posed with the WWE Championship on the shelf, so it's like a perfect figure. I love this figure, and uh, with the painted hair on there, we did this on Action Figure Surgery episode 47 or something like that, and I love this figure. This is perfect. I freaking love it, and uh, that, that's a that's a beast right there, but it, you know, it's not too crazy or out of the picture, so he can't come in high, high on the list, but it is super clean. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have Braun Strowman, the Monster Strowman from BEW. Beautiful looking figure, beautiful looking custom. It goes right into the pick fed. Him and Kane have returned to Vindication, and I love this. He came back as a monster. He's got the Jason mask on there from the Part 5, I think, VHS tape. That was on the cover of the VHS tape. He custom painted it. Then you have the long hair going on, and he just looks like a badass man. He looks like he's going to literally kill you, so I, I really love this figure. I love it a lot, and from the neck down, not much of a custom, but the head sculpt is custom made, so I had to put him in the video. Had to absolutely put him in there, and I love that figure. Next up is the WrestleMania 36 Seth Rollins, which is uh, pretty nice. You know, I made this. I put the Monday Night Messiah over here. Pretty plain Jane gear. I wish it had more details. If it had more details, it would probably be higher up because you guys know that I love Rollins. I love white attires. This would be super high on the list, but it doesn't have that many details like all these lines and stuff that are not featured because I'm really interested to see how Mattel actually does this attire. Hopefully, we do get this attire in action figure form and they'll come with, the, you know, maybe a ponytail head sculpt and then an interchangeable longer head sculpt and then maybe an entrance gear and it'll have all the details of the lines and stuff of the attire. But I love this WrestleMania 36 Rollins. We made this on action figure surgery as well, and it's a great piece. Coming on next is the Hell's Gate Kenny Omega. We got the, the defining moments Kenny Omega right here with his blood-soaked mess face. And this is a pretty solid attire. You got the, the flames going down the sides, flames going down the inner thighs. You got the Kenny Omega logos on the kick pads, black and gold going on. You got the gold Omega logo and Bullet Club wings on the back. You got the Bullet Club belt on there. And it's a pretty nice figure. I love the open knee pads. I love the white wrist tape. He's a bloody soak mess, but I, I really like this figure, and I think it probably is ranked a little higher just because of the sentimental value of it, but I still like it a lot. It's a great attire. A lot of people appreciate it, and you have the little mini gun accessory that he did his entrance with, so there's that. Next up is the NDT champion. We have a Hell's Gate Roman Reigns. Now, I love the way this figure came out. I don't know why, but I love the tights on there. I do like the Uso style boots. You have the black shorts. You got the black and red on the gauntlets. This is an underrated figure, man. You got the day one ish on the vest. This is great, and we're kind of seeing this play out in real life. I know he's, I know he's taking on one of the bloodline at Clash of Champions, but that's still a really nice figure. MDT Champions looking fresh. All right, guys, we are moving on. This is number seven on the list. We have. 
I don't know if you guys saw that, but the next custom just just smashed that fly just then. That's absolutely insane. But next up on the list, we have the Clown or Joker, Jeff Hardy. And I love this thing. I freaking love this face paint. I think it turned out exactly like I like. I love the, the braids with the hair, the different rainbow hair. I love the face paint. I think it turned out perfectly. You have the, the lime green and the purple tying in, the black. And then you have the green kick pads, which tie into it perfectly as well. I just love this, man. This, this is really, really underrated. I think the only thing I don't like about it is that he doesn't have the rest of his tattoos. And I feel like a different shirt color would probably look a lot better. Maybe some belt designs, maybe a rainbow belt. I do want to add a rainbow belt still to it, but still a really nice Jeff. And I love adding, you know, fancy attires to the collection. So that is a beast. Next up, guys, we have my updated 2020 Finn Balor made by BEW. This one was really hard to rank because I love it so much. I don't want to be super duper biased because I do want to give credit where the custom is due, but I also don't want to be biased because it is Finn Balor. You guys know how much I love Finn Balor, but this is a beautiful custom. It's got its tattoos. It's got an updated attire on there, the black attire. It is plain Jane, you know, but it, it is a nailed head sculpt. He's got his tattoos on there, and it's super badass. It represents what Finn Balor currently is. Maybe our next NXT champion come Tuesday night. Hopefully that is the case, but here comes Finn Balor ranked at the number six spot, I think, or something like that. It, it's beautiful. Coming in at number five, guys, we do have my Cedric Alexander Hell's Gate attire. Now, we did fix this up. We did fix it up on Action Figure Surgery episode 50. We added blue kick pads and a blue sleeve. Let me know down below if you like the updated version or do you like the older version with the white over here and the red kick pads. I honestly think I like this version better. I like how it breaks up some of that red. It's not as much red. You still get the red necklace. You got the blue going on. He's still a bloody mess, but I do love this attire. I'll never get sick of this attire. It's like a Spider-Man Cedric, and I definitely need to make more Cedrics, man. The, the Cedrics are clean. I gotta get more Kofis for the torso to switch out. It, it, the Cedric customs are absolutely fire. I need to make more. Coming into the top four, guys, we have the Seth Rollins. That is the Elite 52 fix-up. Now, there's not much on this, but I figured it would be like if AJ Styles and Seth Rollins became a team, you could put the top talents with this guy. He's got his black and green gloves to match his vest, to match all the rest of his attire. And then I put the blonde streak. I made that lime green and kind of mixed that in. I think that looks super badass. Now, this did it have to be that high? Probably not. But uh, also the beard's leaking onto the lip. I don't I don't appreciate that. But nonetheless, I love the lime green streak. The, the streak is so sick in the hair. And uh, I think that would be super badass to see him and AJ Styles team together. Number three, guys, we have a Mac Decals custom. And it is going to be the Survivor Series 2019 Rollins. This one is absurd. The Chicago Bulls attire. He nailed this. I think Mac's customs are so clean. The black, red, and white is so nice. I'm super glad Mattel hasn't made this yet. Hopefully they will so I don't have to replace this in the in the collection because once a you know once a once a Mattel figure is released and you know you don't have to worry about the paint chipping it's really hard to use customs and stuff and so you want to move out the customs but this is a beautiful piece Mac absolutely nailed this and I'm super happy to have it in the collection that is why it's number three it's definitely very very high on the list for customs I've received in 2020 number two ladies and gentlemen is going to be the Hell's Gate Buzz Lightyear Seth Rollins figure I mean could could it be any could it be any any lower. I mean, it has to be a number one or two. It is a beautiful specimen. I love this piece. Probably one of my favorite customs I've ever made, if not my favorite of all time. I'm a huge Toy Story fan. I'm a huge Buzz Lightyear fan. Putting that together with my love for Seth Rollins and wrestling and customizing and figures and stuff, this is so beautiful and I love it. I love the custom vest. I like the SR for Space Ranger and Seth Rollins and all the colors popped out beautifully. The Elite 45 served as a perfect base. It turned out great. I love the gloves. I, I am absolutely absolutely in love with this. Not to mention the BEW custom head sculpt on there. Couldn't have been better, man. That figure is phenomenal. I love it so much, and I try not to be biased because I made it, but that is one that I'm truly proud of. And coming in at number one, guys, can you guess what it is? Let's find out together. It is none other than Willow Jeff Hardy. I mean, could it Could it be? I mean, you got the Buzz Lightyear Rollins, but could Willow get beat out by anything? This is one of a kind. I haven't seen any other custom Willow look this good. It's usually like a paper mask or something like that. BEW was very, very talented in this. You have like the custom Warbler mask sculpted on there. You have beautiful paint job on there. You have all the braids sculpted on top of the head. He did a fantastic job on the tattoo on the arm. He continued the tattoo all the way down. I have not put a shirt on him because I don't want to stain the torso so I haven't put a shirt on him that many but I do have a custom little entrance coat for him. The black entrance coat. I have the umbrella. I have many shirts for him to wear and he 
Fandango does have the longer pants here, and it's not, you know, the regular Jeff Hardy I did. The Fandango lower pants, and then you have the Big E shoes right there. So, BEW nailed that, man. It had to come in at number one, and I think that does it for my complete ranking of all of my customs that I've received so far in 2020, or made, obviously. I did make some of these, but I wanted to put them all together, do a ranking style video, 22 total customs. I absolutely adore all of these. I'm sure we'll add to this list before we get to the end of the year, and we'll probably do another ranking style video at the end of the year to top it all off with all the customs, see where, you know, some rise, some fall, some may overtake others, and we'll have to see how that goes. Maybe I'll update some of these as we approach the end of the year, but that is going to do it for the ranking customs video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I would love to know what you think of everything down in the comment section below. How would you have ranked them? Did you see Willow Jeff Hardy coming in at the number one spot? Would love to know that as well, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.